By the way, let me just show you a quick trap in this line that you can also try against your opponents, which my opponent in this game thought I was going to miss. After bishop b7, I simply played queen f3, pinning the knight. But let's see what was going to happen if I played pawn to d3 in this position, which my opponent was waiting for. Ooh, that was going to be a very big blunder, guys, which was going to end the game in three moves, beginning with knight to f4 by black and is nothing that I could have done in this position due to checkmate on g2, queen takes g2, supported by the bishop on b7. If for example, bishop takes f4, my opponent was just going to play queen takes g2 checkmate and let's say if I played pawn to g3, there was knight h3 checkmate. All right, time for the Italian. So pawn to e4. I love playing the Italian e5, so knight to f3. Or maybe the bishop's opening. I don't know what I should play next. Should I go bishop c4 to getting the weak f7 square? Or probably just go knight to f3 and then bishop c4 later. I think let me start with knight to f3. Simply the Italian opening with bishop c4. Okay, so knight c6 by black. Should I go pawn to d4 or bishop c4? Wanted to play the scotch. Oh, there we see the two knights defense. So knight g5 is always on the plate. I expect to see d5 and then I'll play as highlighted, knight g5 first, expecting to see d5. Yep, so pawn takes and then maybe knight takes. Wow, pawn to b5. <laughs> so my opponent is now playing my top recommendation for the two knights defense. And I know the correct move is bishop f1, not taking on b5 with my bishop. This is what I said in my two knights defense tutorial. If bishop takes b5, black is going to take on d5 with his queen. That is queen takes d5 and is going to be attacking my pawn on g2 and also my bishop on b5. So taking on b5 is not recommended. Bishop f1 is the correct move in this line. I covered these things so I know exactly what I should do. Okay, so knight d4. Again, my opponent is just playing whatever I recommended in my two knights defense tutorial video, which is why I propose that you guys watch that video. It's very beautiful. Anyway, so knight d4 is a theoretical move. Alternatively, black could have also taken on d5 with his queen. But anyways, knight d4 is the main line. And here, I remember covering the move pawn to c3. The idea is to take black's knight on d4 and after that I expect to see, sorry, pawn to c3 then I expect to see knight takes d5. Yep, so after knight takes d5, I should take the knight on d4 and then black is gonna take my knight on g5. So that's how the line goes. After taking the knight, I'll play bishop takes b5 check and then the king will go to d8. Yeah, so let's do this. So c takes d4 okay queen takes and then bishop takes b5 check I expect to see king d8 after bishop takes b5 check just like i said earlier on so that's the move bishop takes b5 check black is eyeing my g2 pawn and there's also bishop b7 coming that will be supported by rook b8 later on i covered all these things so i know what to expect so black's bishop on b7 will be eyeballing my g2 pawn together with the queen and i also foresee knight e3 or knight to f4 in the near future so anyways i need to cast a shot in order to avoid queen takes g2 so cast a shot first i know bishop b7 is coming yep so i think i need to play queen f3 or probably pawn to f3 to avoid queen takes g2 checkmate by the way i can't play d3 because black may play knight to f4 and mate me in three i'm gonna show you how that goes i mean there's just too much pressure on the g2 square i mean it only takes one move for black to mate me knight h3 checkmate or queen takes g2 checkmate so i need to be very careful that's why queen f3 is necessary pinning black's knight to the bishop on b7 yep so queen f3 i actually covered all these things in my two knights defense tutorial video which is why it is very important to study these things 
beforehand. I expect to see rook b8 by the way supporting the bishop on b7. Yep, so rook b8 by black. See, even though I once said that chess is 99% tactics, there are certain lines that you just need to study. Otherwise, you're going to spend a lot of time trying to find the correct moves on the board. Anyway, so knight to f4 by black, I expected to see knight e3, but knight f4 is also a move except that I can play queen g3 because queen g3 also attacks black's queen on g5. So I'm threatening to exchange queens and black doesn't have knight e2 check because I have the bishop covering the e2 square. So I don't care about this. Black has no time to capture on g2. I have no worries so queen takes e5 there we see it and now i guess i'm on my own because i don't remember covering this honestly speaking but i guess the move is pawn to d4 but i know black is attacking my bishop on b5 oh but again i have queen takes g4 if black takes my bishop with his queen and i think let me go pawn to d4 yep so pawn to d4 paved square for my dark squad bishop i'm gonna take the knight with my bishop i guess black has to take my pawn or maybe he has to take my bishop on b5 so here's what we do guys when we are out of prep we start depending on our tactical vision so if queen takes e4 or queen takes b5 i have bishop takes f4 end of story so you can't just memorize all the lines up to the end i mean you also need to learn how to think on your own. I'm not saying that one can only find the correct moves after they study a particular line. All I'm saying is studying these lines in advance will give you confidence and make you think less. So there we see queen takes b5 by black. I guess I need to take the knight here. So bishop takes f4. I anticipate queen takes b2 by black because what else can they do? After which I'll go knight c3. And I also have bishop takes c7 check and probably win the rook on b8 wow so i expect to see queen takes b2 unless otherwise because i don't see anything that black can do yep so queen takes b2 bishop takes c7 check <laughs> oh there's no need for me to take the rook so black played king e8 i have rook e1 check yep so rook e1 check okay now bishop e7 covering the check Using my instincts, I can already tell that this game is over. This is what I'm thinking now. Which piece is more valuable in this position? Is it black's bishop on e7 or probably my rook on a1? I think I should take on g7 with my queen and then play queen e5. Oh, I should just go queen e5 directly or queen d6 threatening to mate black on e7 next. Yep, so queen e5. Checkmate is coming and I expect to see queen b4 by black after which I'm gonna play bishop d6. Wow, so this is how you predict moves in chess. <laughs> oh, after queen b4, I also need to be mindful of my rook on e1. Yep, so queen b4 by black. Okay, indirectly attacking my rook on e1. I have bishop d6. I guess they are going to take my rook on e1 because what else can they do? If queen takes d6, I'll take with my queen because black's bishop on e7 is pinned to the king. It can't take my queen. But I expect to see queen takes e1 by black or probably just resign. <laughs> yeah, so the game is over. Okay, point to f6. Why? Oh, so black just resigned after playing point to f6. So this is how you predict moves in chess, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now let me just show you a few lines in this type of two knights defense which my opponent played against me. So e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, I played bishop c4, then knight f6, and knight g5. I was simply targeting the weak f7 pawn, hoping to go into the fried liver attack, but surprisingly enough, my opponent played pawn to b5, attacking my bishop. And I knew the correct move in this line was bishop f1 because I covered this 
in my two nights defense tutorial video so let me just flip the board and view this from my opponent's side so that you can understand what i'm talking about and let me highlight my territory so this in green is my territory and this in red coming down is my opponent's territory this is just to ensure that you guys don't get confused so in this position my opponent played pawn to b5 attacking my bishop i knew that taking the pawn on b5 was going to be a mistake due to queen takes d5 by black for example queen takes d5 attacking my g2 pawn and my undefended bishop on b5 i mean even if i took his knight on c6 that wasn't going to do much because of bishop b7 i mean even if i played queen f3 e4 was coming and bishop b7 not to mention that even if i decided to cast a shot black was still going to play bishop b7 followed by bishop c5 and pawn to e4 or well, let me just show you the actual moves so that you can understand what i'm talking about bishop b7 and even bishop d6 after pawn to e4 all of which i covered in my tonight's defense tutorial video which is why i recommend that you guys watch that anyway going back on move five where my opponent played pawn to b5 bishop takes b5 is not a good idea due to queen takes d5 so the correct move is bishop f1 which i played in the game and even though black is free to take back the pawn on d5 and maybe play pawn to a6 in the near future to solidify his b5 pawn and bishop c5 the main line is knight d4 which gives an impression as if black is trying to protect the pawn on b5 but the whole idea is that if i play pawn to c3 black is going to take on d5 which happened in the game by the way after pawn takes black took my knight on g5 which i anticipated and now theory says bishop takes b5 check is the move followed by king d8 which happened in the game by the way i just castled short and then black played bishop b7 by the way let me just show you a quick trap in this line that you can also try against your opponents which my opponent in this game thought i was going to miss after bishop b7 i simply played queen f3 pinning the knight but let's see what was going to happen if i played pawn to d3 in this position which my opponent was waiting for Ooh, that was going to be a very big blunder guys which was going to end the game in three moves beginning with knight to f4 by black and there's nothing that I could have done in this position due to checkmate on g2, queen takes g2, supported by the bishop on b7. If, for example, bishop takes f4, my opponent was just going to play queen takes g2, checkmate, and let's say if I played pawn to g3, there was knight h3 checkmate because the bishop covers the highlighted diagonal so this was going to be bad for my eyeballs and this is all for today ladies and gentlemen make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you are new until next time bye bye